Hi, welcome to Romat. Today I'm doing a series of videos on dimensional analysis. Okay, you are having friends over for pizza and games. 15 people are coming over and you estimate that each person will eat about four slices of pizza. Each pizza costs $15.34 after tax and is cut into 12 slices. All right, you have $75 to spend on the pizza. Do you have enough money to feed all of your friends? All right, so this is not usually how you think about doing it, but this is what you're doing. You have 15 people coming over. And then each person is gonna have four slices. So four slices per person. So the thing with dimensional analysis is each fraction is considered equivalent to one. So when I multiply by four slices over one person, that is equivalent to multiplying by a version of one. It's an interesting one, but it's still a version of one. The other thing about dimensional analysis or any of these fractions is that if a number is the same on numerator and denominator, it can cancel, but the same happens with labels. So people in person, though I wrote it in grammatically different tenses, they're still the same idea, they cancel. So if I multiply this out, 15 people, four slices per person, 60 slices, this we do understand conceptually, but it works. The people, person, part cancels. Now we have the number of slices, but we're not done. We need to know how many pizza, pizzas. All right, well, one pizza is 12 slices. Well, this is equivalent to one. We, can, we cancel out our labels, and now we have slices. If we stopped here, we would know how many pizzas we needed. I didn't ask how many pizzas, but if we did 15 times four divided by 12, we would find out we needed five pizzas. But that's not what's being asked. What's being asked is do we have enough money? So we multiply this by the fact that it's going to cost $15.34 for one pizza. And this time we don't, we could actually do the whole one pizza number and label it, everything. If we multiply this out, we find out that we would need $76.70, which means we don't have enough money. Wah, wah. But we're close. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.